Hi everyone. So today I'm going to give my outboard motor a service. The outboard motor I've got is a Honda 25 horsepower four stroke and it's on my Orkney Strike Liner 16 plus. Before I launched the boat for the first time this year, I want to make sure that my engine is going to be completely reliable. So I'm going to, amongst other things, change the engine oil, the gearbox oil, the fuel filter, the spark plugs, and grease all the greasing points. The outboard motor has a cover which I unclip and remove, which gives me access to inside of the engine. I use the power tilt and trim to put the outboard motor in its lowest position. I'm going to change the engine oil first. I loosen the yellow oil cap with the help of a long screwdriver and then remove it by hand. The oil drain plug is at the rear of the outboard motor and you need to use a 12mm socket to undo it. I remove the sump plug and then drain the used engine oil into a suitable container. Note that the oil will drain more easily if it is warm, so it helps to run the engine before you do this. After all the oil has drained, I can then go ahead and remove the oil filter. I clean the old oil away before fitting the new oil filter. I screw the oil filter on by hand until it has seated. I then use an oil filter wrench so that I can tighten the oil filter up to the recommended torque. The sump plug can then be reinstalled with a new washer and then tightened back up. The recommended oil for this outboard is Honda 5W30 four stroke engine oil. The capacity is about 1.6 litres. And I use the dipstick to check that I've refilled the engine to the correct level. There is a gearbox oil in the bottom section of the outboard motor, which I'm going to change. First, I remove the screw marked oil level and then remove the screw marked oil drain. The used gearbox oil can then be drained into a suitable container. I use Honda GL4 SAE90 gear oil. The new oil is pumped back in through the oil drain port until the new oil reaches the oil level. I keep pumping new oil in until no more air bubbles come out of the oil level port. I then put back the oil level screw followed by the oil drain screw. Being a three cylinder engine, there are three spark plugs to replace. I used NGK spark plugs. The propeller shaft needed re-greasing, so I removed the propeller and applied new marine grease along the length of the shaft. 
I used a new split pin when refitting the propeller. The instruction manual for the outboard motor shows you where the grease nipples are and the other places where you need to apply grease. I replaced the inline fuel filter, which is inside this black case on the fuel line before the fuel pump. I also replaced the main fuel filter, which is shown here. And I also replaced the main fuel line and fuel bulb.